I'm gonna have to go to the gym immediately afterwards. everybody, it's Barry here. Hope you, you, right there are well, wherever you are in the world. Uh, Hark, can you hear the sound of sizzling beef mince? Yes, you can. Let's have a look. That is some lean 5% fat beef mince, and I'm going to try and get as much fat of it as possible. But how did today's video that I haven't even told you what we're doing has come about? It could be through this. This tweet. Uh, from Tony. Very nice of you uh, to tweet me. you watching one of my videos in your car. Now I looked at the image, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so surreal. I always, I always tell you this. I'm going to do a competition. Whoever can do the best photo of them watching one of my videos, whether it's that like you've got a big screen on the side of your house like that film Problem Child or whatever, you live near Niagara Falls, something like that, get in touch on Twitter. It must be Twitter. It's easier for me to see it on there. Uh, the winner can have a veggie prep kit. But anyhow, Tony's tweet mentioned a bacon wrap lasagna. Oh my gosh. That sounds amazing. So today we're actually going to try and do it. I googled bacon wrap lasagna. The first one that came up was a little bit of a bodged one in a loaf tin, more of a parcel, more of a bacon package, a care package for your stomach that involves bacon. It didn't involve beef mince. I can't make a lasagna without some beef in it. We've got to do that. So that's why I'm cooking it up right now, draining it out. So thank you, Tony, for uh, your support and showing you watching the video, but you've accidentally created a video request by accident, accidentally. It's actually quite a cheats lasagna. There's none of the sort of homemade sauce going on. There's a lot of like jars and things, but it's more the context of it. And I, I think there is a large, there is a large chance it could fail. Um, so I'm going to cook this beef mince up first of all, and I'll show you what we've got to do. That is a lot of bacon with some very excited pugs nearby it. And if you're wondering, yes, I did just let them sample a little bit of the beef mince off camera. So I browned it and then pushed it just a little bit to get a few little browner, darker tinges on there. Just a little bit of caramelization, a little bit of flavor on there. Letting that cool down because the first step we need to do is line a loaf tin with this bacon. Now this is some really nice quality smoked bacon as well. So I'm really hoping to drive some flavor in there. So I've actually got a lot. I've got like something like 48 strips of bacon. <laughs> I really hope I don't need to use it all. Uh, I was going to bacon weave it as well, but I'm feeling that this should be okay. All right, this is the recipe. Uh, this is from 12tomatoes.com, by the way. Fanning out each slice to ultimately create a sun shape around the pan. Uh, mine looks more like a bacon dress, but we'll go with that. Uh, assemble by placing one lasagna sheet in the pan first of all. Okay. Now this is uh, some uh, fresh lasagna that you can buy in the shops. I've always uh, loved getting fresh pasta. I first discovered it when I started my channel. I never knew fresh pasta existed. Of course, making your own, especially a sheet like this is so fun and easy to do, but um, I, I much prefer it to the dried stuff now. And, oh my gosh. <laughs> We've actually struck gold with the length of it. That's fine. So I just need to cut it down slightly to create. I really like this because it's going to give it a nice little base layer to hopefully prevent any seepage, of which I'm expecting a lot. Actually, one of my favourite gadgets of all, I always get asked this, have you got like your top four favourite things? Um, it's actually food scissors. They are so underrated as a thing in the kitchen. If I cut it like this. I mean, I had the knife ready. I was like, oh no, scissors might be easier. Oh yes. Oh yes. Check this out. As I push this down, the good thing about the fresh sheets is you really don't need. Oh, I love that. That's amazing. <laughs> Looks brilliant. <laughs> the good thing with the fresh sheets is just like when you make them fresh, it cooks in like one to two minutes. Whereas if you had buy the hard stuff, <sighs> oh yeah. All right, it's time to make the sauce for this lasagna and it's got ricotta and other cheeses in it. Um, I tend to do more of like a white sauce or a bechamel kind of vibe, but um, yeah, we'll just go with that. And um, I think hopefully this one might hold it together a bit more because of the eggs. All right, so it's some uh, grated mozzarella. This is not the world's ugliest. Oh, it looks like a pot of ice cream. It's not too bad. Um, it's actually one and a half tubs of ricotta, which I've drained slightly as well. I'm trying to get as much moisture out of this as I can. That's what's starting to worry me. I mean, think of all that bacon we've got there. There's going to be some fat coming out of that. I wonder if I'm going to have to drain it off as we go. This is some Parmesan, and as I grate it, I have a really funny story. So as you know, uh, content creators like myself, we do brand deals uh, because that helps make the channel survive. And I'm quite lucky in the fact that because I've been around so long that I don't need to do many brand deals, so I can be quite selective about ones that I enjoy. In fact, I do turn down 
about 90% of the brand deals that I get offered. But you might remember I did one for Grana Padano a while ago and obviously they're kind of rivals with Parmesan. <laughs> There's that scene where I have to eat the cheese and I have to pretend that I liked it. But to be fair, I do, I don't mind this so much. I have kind of got a taste for it. So I get an email from Parmesan, Parmigiano Reggiano saying, hey Barry, would you be interested in doing a video for Parmesan Reggiano people? So I'm like, okay, I start reading it. And they're like, yeah, basically what we want to do, we want to fly you to Italy. This is the concept of the video. Uh, basically we just want to copy this this is someone that we found that did this video and the video they shared with me was my video that I did I was like I replied I was like that's me I, oh yeah of course yeah <laughs> it's like that's actually my channel it says Barry Lewis on there yeah we want to basically replicate that so I was like no we we're not doing that um, because I, I don't know I'm not like on a turf war with Parmigiano Reggiano and Grana Padano I have no you know morals to stick with one or the other but um it would just be the same really. It's just cheese to me, it's just hard cheese. But anyhow, that <laughs> killed some time uh, whilst I grated uh, the cheese in there. So we've got ricotta, mozzarella, parmesan. Ah, oh, it doesn't tell me to season it, but come on, we've got to season it. No unnecessary salt base there, a little bit of salt for my pig. There we go. So let's just mix this all through and try and get some on my thumb, amazing. So uh, for the sauce, rather than making our own and going to town with like tomatoes and herbs and stuff, it just says to get a jar of pasta sauce. Uh, this is actually some Dolmio. I uh, don't know if you remember, years ago, for some of you originals, when I very, 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 very first started my channel, um, there was a competition for Dolmio where you could win a trip to Italy. And my family at the time, like we were really struggling financially and um, I was like, oh my gosh, this holiday, we, we hadn't had a holiday in like two, three years. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna enter this. And I came second. Uh, and uh, the creator that won, I dressed up as the Dolmio man and everything. It, the video is probably still online. I really went to town on it. And the person that won it was a guy called Crabsticks, who I've met, and he's a lovely bloke. Uh, Quant he was really big back then as well. I'd only just started out. And because he had such a big audience, everyone voted for him. And I was like, oh, I came second. Um, it was really cool though. But my fact, I said to my wife, Mrs. B, I was like, oh, we're not going to Italy. We're, we're going to Western Supermare for an ice cream. Yeah, a key part to that story that I didn't mention actually was that um, I went to town and spent a lot of money on fancy dress, uh, whereas Crabsticks literally put a paper moustache on his face and won it. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh. It's quite funny looking back though. Oh, pop that seal. I'm not gonna pan the camera, but the dogs are watching me like a hawk right now. <laughs> so from a jar and some beef mints, we've actually got something that looks fairly lasagna-ish and it's not too runny. All right, let's build this. I've just preheated my oven, uh, so let's come on down and start to build this thing. So we've started with the pasta layer, which I really like that. Next up is a layer of the sauce. Remember, there's not supposed to be beef mince in this, but I disagree. I think this is gonna make it awesome. And then we dollop down the sauce. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, is that a sauce? I mean, it's not really a sauce, is it? The cream, the cheese, the cheese. But then we do add cheese in a minute, as you'll see. So the cheesy layer that's already got the cheese in now gets topped with more cheese. Uh, I'm apparently supposed to be able to got three layers of pasta on here, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh yes, nice. I think we'll get one more in, which is fine. I'm not gonna complain. As long as there's more than one layer, that would be a, a bit of a budget lasagna. But this beef mince has actually got a bit of weight to it. So it's weighing it down. I love it. All right, folks, uh, so that's that on there. Cheeky little mozzarella on there as well. So good, so good, look at that. Oh my, I'm really, this is enjoyment that I should not be enjoying. Like this is all kinds of wrong, but it feels so right. We just sort of marvel at that. <laughs> it's like a whole tub of meaty, cheesy love. Oh my gosh. Right, let's bring up these sides and see what we're left with because uh, we can make, probably make it look a bit prettier. Oh wow, I think this is gonna work really well. Encasing all of that effectively in a basket of bacon. Oh, this bit here. I'm gonna have one that side as well, brilliant. Just an extra lock. There we go. Oh my gosh, I so, so, Want to brush some like maple syrup or something on this, but we need to kind of stay true to its lasagna roots, don't we? All right, so let's just have a look at that. Is amazing. It's like a little bacon parcel. Oh my gosh! Um, the oven is preheated. It apparently goes in for 45 minutes. So let's uh, 
Let's, well, let's do that now. It's not going to stand around and cook itself, is it? Um, whilst it is cooking, apparently, periodically, oh my gosh, Ugh. the periodic table of oven checking, uh, I do need to keep my eye on it. Uh, and if it gets a little bit oily and greasy, which is what we're talking about, there's, there's, there's quite a lot of fat on that bacon, right? I mean, I tried to get a lean one, but there's still going to be some. We apparently need to periodically pour that out. And we're looking for a nice golden crisp colour on the bacon. Because that's all we're really cooking. The pasta sheets will cook in minutes in there. It's all about cooking that bacon. So as soon as that's done, it's done. So let's look out for oil spills. Yay. But other than that, oh, how good was that? All right. You might better hear the, the tones of my neighbor mowing their grass, but uh, oh my gosh, wow. Yeah, there's some fluid in there, all right, wow. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it looks like it's bleeding. All right, back in the oven it goes. Like the smoked bacon, that's the smell I'm really getting, but look at yeah, there's like a lasagna inside it. Come on. Yeah, as for that, yeah, you can do what you want with that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's puffed up as well, can you see that? It's got like this ridge of like, yeah, I'm not gonna touch that. <laughs> Whilst that was in the oven, some people messaged me going, are you trying to copy Epic Meal Time? I'm like, hang on a sec, it's not 1997, this was a request. Come on now. Apparently that might have been their first ever video. I think they might have gone a bit bigger. <laughs> we'll let this cool down and then we should be able to take it out as one piece. And if we can take a wedge out of it, I'm gonna have to go to the gym immediately afterwards. So we'll go down in here. Oh my gosh. I'm under it, I'm under it. <gasps> Why does it smell a little bit like mashed potato? And why is it sticking that side? Oh my gosh. Oh, baby. Where have you been all my life? Look at that. <laughs> I mean, there's a little bit of seepage there, but there's sauce in there and ricotta and that's, it's kind of firmed and baked a little bit with the egg. Now I do have a serrated knife I could use, but instead I'm going for a carving knife. Oh wow. Look at that. Oh my god, I haven't even seen what you can see. Oh wow. That's amazing. It's so beautiful. <laughs> this might be insanely delicious, or it actually could be disgusting after all this, but if it's as good as it smells, I think I'm going to enjoy this. Looks a little bit like an innocent bacon wrapped croissant right there, doesn't it? But then you turn it around and you've got those layers. I just then I was camera, I was like, oh, should I have some ketchup with it? But we've got to remember, there is actually tomato sauce baked into this. So the bacon, the sauce with the meat in, the ricotta and the extra mozzarella. Oh, I'm not even like grotesque by it. It sounded, I mean, it looks horrendous, doesn't it, in some ways. It looks really like, oh my gosh, yeah. But that, draining off the fat, using some uh, lower fat beef mince and portion control, that is actually insanely good. The weather's starting to change here to being sort of autumnal and it's starting to get a little cooler at nights. And this is kind of warming and comforting. And I really wanna, um, I think that maple might have destroyed it because it's quite mild and it's still a lasagna, but that bacon edge just gives it a real, I mean, the smokiness there. Oh my gosh, 100% would make again. Yeah, I literally can't stop eating it, but I mean, you're gonna get about eight to 10 good sized portions out of that, which maybe some salad alongside. I know it sounds like, make this and have some salad. <laughs> sounds a bit weird, but that's amazing. But what's next, like bacon wrapped cottage pie? Oh, well, how far do we take this? Awesome. What do we think, huh? Yeah, they've been quite lucky off camera. I gave them a little bit of cheese and some beef, but I think the whole thing combined might upset little pug tummies. Well, there we go then folks. Remember this video came from a tweet and if you do want to send me a photo at Mr. Barry Lewis on Twitter, don't forget to follow me on there on all the other social media platforms. Have a lot of fun on there. Uh, your photo of watching my videos in the most epic place you can. And I will send a veggie prep kit wherever you are in the world to uh, the one that I pick, which is up to me. Antonia, thank you so much for the suggestion. Uh, she was, I can't believe you're making this video. This is amazing. There we go, all done. So uh, you never know, you might tweet me one day and it might turn into a video. Cheers guys, try that, and if you do, send me a photo.
Cheers. Check your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen's for me. Simon's moustache, goatee, maybe all three. Just literally punched my camera lens. <laughs> like, oh no.